With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hi guys, our question is: If theta one comma theta two are the angles of the inclination of the tangents through a point P to the circle x square plus y square equals to a square, then we have to find the locus of P uh, with the given condition: cot theta one plus cot theta two equals to a constant k. Okay, fine. Let's solve this question. So uh, there is a circle given to us. Let me draw the circle. <coughs> and it is the center of the circle zero comma zero. And from the point P there are the two tangents to the circle okay uh, the diagram is schematic uh, okay so just uh, don't think more about diagram and it is the radius a radius a point p and I am taking its coordinates as h comma k. Okay, so let the equation of this line be y equals to mx plus c, where n is the slope and c is the constant. Okay, fine. Now let and the angle be theta one and this be theta two. <coughs> okay, fine. So uh, <coughs> since the given line is tangent to the circle. And then the perpendicular distance between the center and this point of contact should be equal to its radius a so let's write down its equation corresponding to this condition so the perpendicular distance is equal to radius so a equals to y minus mx minus c upon root over 1 plus m square where x comma y must be equal to its center that is 0 comma 0 so from here i can write as a equals to modulus of c upon root over 1 plus m square okay so c comes out to be plus minus a root over 1 plus m square okay fine so we got the c so now i can write y equals to mx plus minus c and root 1 plus m sorry a and root 1 plus m square <coughs> now since the given line is also passing from the point p let me write it with another pattern passing from p and what are the coordinates of p h comma k so i can write it as k equals to mh plus minus a times root over 1 plus m square now Further, a minus m h equals plus minus a times root over one plus m square. Now I square both sides. From the squaring, we'll get k minus m h whole square equals a square times one plus m square. Okay. So now open it by a plus b whole square property k square plus m square h square minus 2 m h k equals a square plus a square m square which can be further written as uh, m square and k h square minus a square coefficient of m square minus 2 m h k plus k square minus a square equals to zero okay so this is the quadratic equation and let's the let's two roots be m1 and m2 <coughs> and what are the m1 and m2 these are the slopes of the tangents that are passing from the point p that are passing from the point p okay so this 
will be called as m1 the slope of this line is m1 and of this is m2 so i can also write m1 equals to tan of theta 1 and m2 equals to tan of theta 2 okay so it's clear till now and the also the given condition to us is cot theta 1 plus cot of theta 2 equals to k which can be written as 1 upon tan theta 1 plus 1 upon tan theta 2 equals to k which is equals to 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2 equals to k okay so m1 plus m2 upon equals sorry k times m1 m2 and our m1 m2 are our m1 plus m2 is equal to minus ka b by a and what's that will be minus minus ka b and what's our b <coughs> minus 2 m h sorry 2 h k upon a that is h square minus a square and what's m1 m2 m1 m2 equals to c by a that is a square minus a square upon h square minus a square so we can write it as 2hk upon h square minus a square equals to <coughs> k times a square minus a square upon h square minus a square a square minus a square upon h square minus a square so from here i can say that h square minus a square can't be zero as the denominator will become zero okay <clears throat> so let's cancel this out now 2hk equals k times k square minus a square okay from here i can write as k times take k out k square minus a square minus 2h equals to 0 so either k equals to 0 or k square minus 2h equals to a square okay so let me suppose that k equals to 0 so okay uh, now if k equals to, let me suppose that k equals to 0 is the locus of the point p so when the k equals to 0 then definitely the point p will lie on the y x oh sorry k equals to 0 on x axis in this case locus of p will be x axis and in this case locus of p will be a parabola thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today